As Israeli troops close in, U.S. officials estimate between 500 and 600 Americans are in Gaza right now, trapped by that blockade. Yeah, among them a longtime UW medical instructor who's been volunteering as a humanitarian relief worker. Ramona Okamura's family is telling us that she was in Gaza helping child amputee patients when Hamas attacked. Us 13's Frankie Thompson reports on the desperate efforts to bring her home. Yeah, Matthew Nia, the family of Ramona Umukamura, say she is currently safe and they've been told that she will be crossing out of Gaza tomorrow. But they're scared for other aid workers who may not have a way out and the young patients Ramona has to leave behind. Immersed in the horrors of war, a moment of peace for Ramona Ukamura. To celebrate her 71st birthday. Ramona, a longtime Seattle resident, was supposed to return home October 10th, but has been stuck in Gaza as the deadly battle between Israel and the Hamas explodes. We know that she is safe currently. We don't know what her. Um, like food, water, fuel situation is. Her nieces say they lost contact with Ramona overnight after she was rushed to a United Nations building near the Israeli border. It's terrifying. It's extremely violent. The things that are taking place are unspeakable. Ramona is a former lecturer in prosthetics at the University of Washington for nearly 30 years. Every year since her retirement, Ramona helps amputee children by volunteering with the Palestine Children's Relief Fund, reasons why she has been in Gaza since September 22nd. She was sent there as an expert to train the prosthetics technicians in in the area to help the local children. And really her only mission in life has always been to help children regain the ability to play, regain the ability to walk, to use their arms, and, and that's why she's there. Now her life's work and her life are caught in a war zone. Her relatives are calling on the U.S. government to ensure Ramona and humanitarians like her return home. Help humanitarian aid workers. Help them come home because they have families just like you and me. And they are angels. They are special people that are willing to go to such a dangerous place and 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 do what they do. Her family says the latest update from the volunteer group is the Israeli government will allow Ramona and a caravan of people to cross the border to safety, but they aren't aware of a schedule. As time is of the essence, they hope her journey to peace comes soon. With the uh, kind of recent fear that the there will be a ground invasion um, and the other millions of people that are there and also trying to evacuate. We are just sort of fearing the worst in terms of the pressure at the border and um, the, the risk of her being injured or, or you know, worse. The family says by tomorrow they should have a better idea of Ramona's schedule crossing the border. Once she's on the other side, they say Ramona will be staying at a hotel for one night. They hope she'll have access to Wi-Fi to communicate with her loved ones. Back to you.